Dear children, today we are going to discuss the hydrogenation by Wilkinson's catalyst. Myself, Dr. Dick Navarkis. Hydrogenation reaction. A chemical reaction between the molecular hydrogen and another compound or element. The addition of hydrogen to an unsaturated compound in the presence of a catalyst. Hydrogenation reaction, the unsaturated compound converted into saturated compound. Another name of the hydrogenation reaction is reduction, an increase in hydrogen content of an organic compound. Hydrogenation reaction is an exothermic reaction. What is the need of catalyst in a hydrogenation or reduction reaction? This reaction does not occur at room temperature without a catalyst. Catalyst provides a new reaction pathway with a lower free energy of activation. Here you can see several catalysts used in catalytic hydrogenation reactions. First one is palladium, second one is Adams catalyst which is also known as platinum dioxide. Third one is rane nickel, fourth copper chromite, fifth one is transfer hydrogenation reaction and sixth rhodium catalyst, seven ruthenium and eight trithyl amine. Here you can see a, an example for the catalytic hydrogenation reaction. Propene reacts with hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst and giving propane. After hydrogenation reaction, the unsaturated compound converted into a saturated compound. Hydrogenation reaction by Wilkinson catalyst. This catalyst is discovered by Sir Geoffrey Wilkinson. He was a Nobel laureate and also an English chemist. Wilkinson catalyst is a homogeneous catalyst. We know a homogeneous catalyst can the catalyst and the substrate is in the same phase. Okay, here you can see the Wilkinson catalyst. It is a complex of rhodium one metal ion. It is a D8 electron species. Its molecular formula is PPH3 tries RHCl. Its IPC name is tris chloro Tris triphenyl phosphine rhodium 1. It is a red solid. It has a slightly distorted scarplanar structure. Here you can see the rhodium 1 is its coordination geometry is slightly distorted scarplanar structure. It is an A16 electron complex. That means rhodium, its outer electronic configuration is 9. 9 plus 2 electrons from each triphenyl phosphine so that 3 into 2 6 9 plus 6 plus 1 electron from the chlorine chloride ion so we total we get is 16 9 plus 6 plus 1 16 electron complex it's a coordinatively unsaturated complex. We know AT electron complex is highly stable. And here there is two electron deficient from the 18 electron species. So it's a highly unsaturated complex. So it can coordinate to other ligands. Okay. Synthesis of Wilkinson catalyst. Here you can see the rhodium salt reacts with triphenyl phosphine and forming the Wilkinson catalyst. Here rhodium chloride reacts with triphenyl phosphine and forming the Wilkinson catalyst and another phosphine, triphenyl phosphine oxide and also hydrochloric acid and water molecule. So this all about Wilkinson catalyst. Wilkinson catalyst is chlorotris triphenyl phosphine rhodium 1 complex. It's a red solid. And it is a rhodium is in the plus one oxidation state. It has a square planar, distorted square planar structure. It is coordinatively unsaturated one and it has 16 electron species. Okay. 
here we are going to discuss the mechanism of hydrogenation reaction by using wilkinson catalyst we know in a homogeneous reactions there are certain catalytic steps most of the catalytic steps involve from a small number of different types of steps that is association or dissociation of a ligand requires labile complexes insertion and elimination reactions nucleophilic attack on a coordinated ligand oxidation and reduction of a metal center or oxidative addition or reductive elimination there are major three steps involved in any homogeneous reactions that is oxidative addition reduct insertion reaction and reductive elimination reactions here you can see the mechanism of uh, hydrogenation reaction by using wilkinson catalyst here the uh, catalyst it is a 16 valence electron count complex and here first the oxidative addition of hydrogen and forming an 18 electron complex and after that uh, addition of a uh, reactant molecule that is alkene which will undergo hydrogenation reaction and forming an uh, in alkene complex with this particular 18 valence electron complex by after that uh, there is a migratory insertion reaction takes place and after that reductive elimination and forming the saturated alkene product and the catalyst is regenerated these are the major steps involved in the reactions here we can see the mechanism in detail in step 1 in solution one of the phosphine ligands from the wilkinson catalyst we know wilkinson catalyst is chlorotris triphenyl phosphine here three triphenyl phosphine groups are attached to the rhodium metal ion in which one of the phosphine ligand is dissociates and to form a vacant coordination site and the rhodium complex becomes tri coordinated complex having the t shaped geometry this complex give the catalytic action to the complex the complex is not isolated this tri coordinated complex is not isolated but the root of the reaction for the hydrogenation is in this way because there is some evidences the evidence supports this reaction is first one is if we use less sterically hindered phosphines like triethyl phosphine the catalytic effect disappears the steric repulsion forcing the dissociation necessary here you can see the phosphorus atom attached to three phenyl groups in the case of triethyl phosphine the phosphorus atom attached to three ethyl groups we know ethyl group is very small molecule when compared to phenyl group so the steric repulsion forcing the dissociation of molecule and forming a vacant coordination site here so if we using triethyl phosphine there is no such steric repulsion occurs and there is no such dissociation occurs and forming such type of tri coordinated species so the catalytic effect disappears when the rhodium metal ion coordinates to sterically less sterically hindered phosphines another important evidence is that if we are using iridium metal ion instead of rhodium okay we know rhodium and iridium is and cobalt is in the same group in the transition series iridium phosphorus metal ion bond is very strong when compared to rhodium phosphorus bond so the dissociation of triphenyl phosphine from iridium metal ion is not so easy as in the case of rhodium metal ion so no dissociation takes place when we are using iridium instead of rhodium and there is no catalytic effect so only wilkinson catalyst can 
use such a dissociation of triphenylphosphine and forming a vacant coordination site and proceeds hydrogenation reaction. Step 2 reaction. Here you can see the solvated complex undergo. Here one of the triphenylphosphine is solvated here. Solvent molecule attached to this particular compound and undergo oxidative addition reaction with the hydrogen molecules and form 18 dihydro complex. That is, that means hydrogen molecules breaks into hydrogen, hydrogen. Atoms are attached to the rhodium metal ion. Here you can see this step involves both oxidation and addition reaction. So this reaction is known as oxide reaction. The evidence for such uh, compound is that from the NMR spectroscopy. That NMR speaks gives an evidence for rhodium hydrogen metal iron bond. In step 3, the reaction is like that. An alkene is coordinated to the 18 valence electron species that is formed from the, we know first the catalyst is 16 electron complex, rhodium is in the plus 1 oxidation state. After removing the triphenylphosphine from the complex, it forms a tricoordinated complex and it will react with the solvent molecules and form again 16 valence electron rhodium in the plus 1 oxidation state. Here as shows the solvent molecule and it undergo reactions with the hydrogen. The hydrogen atoms breaks into, hydrogen molecule breaks into hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen atoms attach to the rhodium metal ion and forming rhodium in the plus 3 oxidation state. Here you can see both oxidation and addition reaction takes place. So this reaction is known as oxide reaction. Rhodium its oxidation state is plus 3 here and the valency, valence electron count is 18 here. To this, this is the third step to which the alkene is coordinated by the elimination of the solvent molecules and it form a again 6 coordinated complex having the plus 3 oxidation state of the metal ion. Metal has weakened the alkene double bond by coordination and weakens the carbon-carbon double bond. That means we know metal is, is electron deficient. Here the alkene, the double bond has electrons. This electron is donated to the metal atom. So thereby weakens the carbon-carbon double bond. So, metal brought the alkene and hydrogen atom into close proximity. Okay. Step is an insertion reaction step. Here you can see the alkene which is close proximity with the hydrogen atom. So, this alkene is inserted between the metal and the hydrogen ion and forming a 16 electron complex. Here you can see the 5 coordinate species. Rhodium is attached to the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it's a 5 coordinated species or a complex. It is highly reactive. Okay. It is the slow step so it is a rate determining step and the solvent attached to the metal here you can see some, um, there is a possibility for the solvent again attached to the metal alkyl derivative. So, and it can form a six coordinate complex. This is the last step of the reaction that is reductive elimination step. Here you can see the metal is reduced from plus 3 oxidation state to plus 1 oxidation state and the coordination number here it is 6 it is decreases to 4 coordination number 4. 
it is a product forming step here you can see the saturated compound is eliminated from the 18 valence electron complex the metal transfers the hydrogen fragments to the alkene yielding alkane so here you can see the catalytic loop of the hydrogenation reaction by using wilkinson catalyst here you can see the catalyst and which is undergo hydrogen addition it's an oxidative addition reaction and forming six coordinated complex to this alkene is added by elimination of solvent molecules to form the six coordinated complex this undergo migratory insertion reaction to form the five coordinated species that will again attach to the solvent molecules and forming six coordinated complex undergo reductive elimination to forming the product and the catalyst is regenerated this reaction involving a true catalyst and it can be represented by a chemically closed loop that is known as Tolman's catalytic loop the hydrogenation of alkenes by wilkinson catalyst is called as Tolman's catalytic cycle or loop it is an extended version of 18 electron rule in reactions that catalyzed by homogeneous organometallic catalyst the intermediates obtained in different steps that is shuffle between 16 electron species and 18 electron species the shifting of electrons are energetically favored and hence allowed so this reaction is or uh, represented in a Tolman catalytic loops. What is the role of rhodium metal in Wilkinson catalyst? It provides a low energy path for cleaving hydrogen hydrogen bonding hydrogen molecule. Metal has weakened the alkene double bond by coordination and it weakens the carbon carbon double bond. Metal brought the alkene and hydrogen atom into close proximity. Hence, it will undergo alkene insertion reaction. And metal also transfers the hydrogen fragments to the alkene yielding alkene. Advantages of Wilkinson catalyst. It operates at milder conditions. It is selectively hydrogenated biologically active substances. The hydrogens are transferred specifically to the cis positions. It is specific for terminal alkenes. Here you can see a alkene compound, an organic compound that reacts with Wilkinson catalyst. The hydrogenation takes place at the terminal alkenes. Okay. Then the ring al double bond. Here you can also see he, in this case there is a ring double bond and there is a terminal double bond the terminal double bond is hydrogenated by the wilkinson catalyst next one is the here you can see the conjugated double bonds are here and there is isolated double bond the wilkinson catalyst act more towards the isolated double bond it becomes saturated after hydrogenation reaction in the case of cis alkenes, here the cis alkenes, these are reduced faster by the Wilkinson catalyst than the trans alkenes. Here you can see the saturation occurs at the case of cis alkenes. Less substituted sterically hindered double bonds are selectively hydrogenated. This is the less substituted hydrogen one here it is the more substituted alkene so it is the terminal alkene undergo hydrogenation by wilkinson catalyst so it is a selectively hydrogenation of here you can see so many alkenes are given here and how they are interact with the wilkinson catalyst for hydrogenation reaction the rates of hydrogenation decreases with increase in the alkyl group. 
substitution on the double bond mirroring their relative binding affinities to the metal center. It is also partially due to the steric factors. Here you can see this is less sterically hindered than the other alkenes given here. So it is more easily hydrogenated by Wilkinson catalyst than the other alkenes. This is the least easily hydrogenated with Wilkinson catalyst. That means it is more difficult to react with Wilkinson catalyst for the hydrogenation reaction. Therefore, for a successful hydrogenated, hydrogenation, oxidative addition of dihydrogen prior to the binding of polypene is crucial here. Okay, so we can say that less sterically hindered alkenes are hydrogenated faster by Wilkinson catalyst. The advantages of the Wilkinson catalyst is given here. It, we know it's a homogeneous catalyst, so incomplete separation from the product occurs. It is a very expensive process because the rhodium metal cost is very high. We know Wilkinson catalyst is used for the hydrogenation reaction. It is hydrogenated various alkenes, but with ethylene, we are not using Wilkinson catalyst for hydrogenation reaction. Because we are, when we are using ethylene plus Wilkinson catalyst, it forms a stable complex that is PPH3 twice RHClC2H4 plus PPH3. It's a stable complex, so it does not um, react further. So it is acts as an inhibitor to hydrogenation reaction. So we are not using Wilkinson catalyst for hydrogenating ethylene molecule for your attention.